What is up guys? It's your average gear reviewer here back again with another one for you. And by my calculations, it's Friday. And uh, I think you know what that means. It's time for the TGIF pocket dump. Let's do it. Welcome to average gear review. But the best gear is the gear you have on. So guys, if you are new to the TGIF Pocket Dump Series, this is where I'm going to go through everything that I've been carrying on body all week. Uh, kind of just give you an idea of where I carry, what I carry, and a little bit about why I carry it. Um, I do want to talk about something a little bit different this week that I want to show you guys. And uh, of course, you know, there may be a couple of surprises in there. Um, if you guys have been watching these for a while, you may recognize a lot of this stuff. But um, yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. I did just want to say really quick this week, I'm focusing um, on more of sort of a lightweight summertime carry. So uh, yeah, let's get into so it. If you guys have watched any of the videos before, you know I like to start on the, usually start on the left-hand side and I'll just go around to the right, show you what I'm carrying and where I'm carrying it. Of course, you know, some sunglasses for summertime. You have to have sunglasses. Um, generally, I will just hang them around my neck here. You can wear them up on your head like this, but, you know, like we agreed last week, uh, wearing them on the back of your head is no longer, it's no longer allowed. So just remember that one. Left-hand side over here, this is what I really wanted to show you guys what I've got going on for a uh, micro pocket carry or mini pocket carry. I've got the pocket platform from Knife Viking, and uh, I've got it set up with everything I need for uh, just a little minimalist type of EDC kit. And uh, I love having that right there in my pocket, you know, something that just keeps everything handy right where I need it. Um, in the left hand back end pocket, uh, carrying the Fidelo minimalist wallet. If you uh, watched the pocket dump last week, you know, that's something I was talking about uh, switching the wallet over to the back left pocket. <clears throat> In the right hand pocket, of course, as always, we got to have our O Hank. I'm putting all this down on the bench and uh, then we'll go through it as soon as I uh, get everything laid out here. Um, where were we? Okay. Yep. Right hand pocket. I've got the Concept Integra. You guys missed it. I did an unboxing video on this knife this week and I really, really like it. Super nice little knife. So be sure and check that video out. I'll put a link for it up here. Also got the Lighter Bro Pro. Oh, that's washing out. So let's see here. The Lighter Bro Pro. If you know, you know. And uh, just just to show you guys, I have taken the magazine out of my pistol, so it is unloaded. It is safe. Uh, but I do carry a Taurus G2C on this side. Just so you can see there with the uh, Boulder RL flashlight and laser combo. And I carry that in the Gun and Flower Kydex holster with the Ulti clip, of course. Gotta love that clip sound. Let me, get, let me know if you guys have used uh, Ulti clips or not, so what you think about them. I think I just smacked the microphone, so I uh, apologize. If you've watched any of my videos, you may have heard me talk about this. I always have the Olight iMini 2 around my neck on a chain. And let me just tell you a story about this one, guys. I actually lost this knife. Or knife. I actually lost this flashlight this week for uh, probably a couple of days. And I was just lost. I missed it so much. And it just, it was really funny because I, I was telling Shannon, I'm like, I can't find it anywhere. It's like I've lost a friend. But uh, anyway, it's back and I couldn't be happier. But the uh, iMini 2 is my just, uh, it's one of the few things that if I'm not even wearing a watch, I may have that on me. So um, speaking of watches, of course, I do have the Tick Watch Pro. Always do have that one around my wrist. And of course, as my small arm retention knife, got to be carrying. You know what it is. If you've watched my videos lately, you know what it is. Carrying the White Horse Concept Knife. You know that if you guys have uh, watched my videos lately, you know that this is um, sort of a prototype of a knife that I've been working on. 
Um, I'm using a pre-existing knife blade, but the handles are all mine. Um, and they are a solid piece of G10. If you guys are interested in hearing a little bit more about this or the process uh, but, uh, that I'm doing right now, just let me know. Um, I, I kind of would like to do a video about it. Um, but I am looking for uh, any blade makers that would be interested in, in collaborating or, or if you could just fabricate a blade for me. I'd be really interested to talk to you. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, we'll, oh, yep, I almost forgot the uh, sheath. It's carried in a nice little Kydex sheath, and I do have an Ulti clip on it as well. I'm thoroughly sold on the uh, Ulti clips as ways of attaching things. It just, uh, I, I really, really like them. So anyway, we'll switch to the uh, top down view. Oh, yeah, got the Vismix tactical belt. Forgot about that. Part of the uh, Vismix tactical belt system. I do have that on right now as well. You know, uh, what I showed you guys before that I like about that is that it allows you to uh, attach your tourniquet to the outside of the belt. Um, I'm not wearing it like that right now uh, just because I'm sitting around the house and, and it's sort of uh, uncomfortable to wear, to be honest. But, uh, you know, a lot of times when I'm out running around, I will wear that. Uh, but anyway, we're going to get over here to the uh, top down view and we'll just talk a little bit about um, any changes that we've had from this week. All right, guys, so we're over here at the top down view, and I just wanted to go over a couple of the things for this week that were new. Um, in particular, this uh, micro or mini EDC kit that I put together, and this one actually features exclusively Olight stuff. I've said for a long time, if you're new to the EDC game or if even if you've been doing it for a while and you want to find that missing piece, Olight really does make a little bit of everything. Um, I've got the D1 driver here. Just put that over there. Got the D1 driver. I have the O pin mini. The uh, O light. This is the P1 multi tool, which is a super handy little multi tool based on the uh, Next Tool Sailor, I believe. And. Um, it's a really handy little multi-tool to have, and it's very small. It takes up a very little space. It's smaller than my power leader, so I'm actually carrying that instead of the power leader this week. Just trying that out. Um, got an i3T EOS in there, and the P2 Mini. A titanium, anodized, pry bar, bottle opener. And it also has a driver as well. So, yeah. Nice little micro EDC kit, I guess, uh, is what you could call that. Um, and like I told, said before, I had lost this this week. And I, I was so excited when I found it. I just, I, I felt lost without it. It's just one of those things that I always have on. And um, so Shannon had to listen to me complain all week about uh, missing my, my poor little Olight Mini. But it's back, and, and we couldn't be happier. Um, you know, for my EDC knife, I'm carrying the Concept Integra. Just did an unboxing video on this one. I'll put a link to that one up here for you if you want to check that video out. I really like this knife. I haven't gotten to carry it now for a little bit after I shot the video. It's been in my pocket. Uh, getting, got to use it a couple of times, and uh, I'm really, really growing to like it. Now, it don't feel any real hot spots when you hold it. And it's just because I think of the simplicity of it. Just there's not really a whole lot to uh, to sort of create any kind of hot spots. So, yeah, really, really liking the concept Integra. Big fan of that. And uh, still using the, uh, still carrying the White Horse as my sidearm retention knife or small arm retention knife. And I uh, haven't really made any big changes to it. I'm going to do some work on it uh, maybe over the weekend this weekend. Um, I'm going to take these pieces down a little bit and I'm going to add some, I think I'm going to add some jimping along this whole backside here. So my plan so far, we'll see how that works out. But anyway, I had a lot of fun working with this and I have a lot of fun fidgeting with it. it it's um, but it is very useful. I actually have used it as an EDC, just an EDC carry. 
and um, it, it's actually really useful. I really, really want to find a blade maker who can make me a, um, a prototype blade for this because I just don't, I don't have the capability and I don't really want to learn how to do it. And I definitely don't want to have to buy all the equipment that I'm sure that you need for that type of thing. So, um, yeah, I'm trying to find somebody to collaborate with. And I have a few people in mind. Um, but, yeah, if you're interested, you're, if you're a blade maker or you know somebody who is and you would be interested, have them hit me up over there on Instagram at uh, Average Gear Review, all lowercase. And uh, just have them holler at me over there. Because I, I seriously am wanting to get a prototype made. The uh, G10 scales basically are my construction. It's what I've done. They're completely my own design. Um, I, I carved them out of G10. So they are, uh, there's room for the blade in the middle, but they are a solid piece. You can see from the end, it's, it's a solid piece of G10. So, but yeah. Hopefully I can do something more with this in the future. Um, I have a couple of uh, other ideas of knives that I want to work on. And really this one would be um, what I would consider probably the pony version. Uh, the actual white horse that I want to make, it would be a little bit longer. Um, just, a little, just a little bit longer than this one. But I, what I'd like to have is like a good three inch blade. And the blade shape that I want to, I haven't seen another knife with it out there. And I don't even know if it's possible. So, um, you know, hopefully if I can get hooked up with somebody who can make me a blade, I can find out if it's actually even possible to make the blade shape that I want. Because I really don't know if it's even possible. But um, anyway, yeah, not a whole lot of changes this week. You know, um, every week I'm a lot. Of, well, not every week, but a lot of times I'm, I'm carrying whatever EDC knife I've been looking at this week or I've done unboxings on. Just to get a feel for them, you know, before I do any kind of proper reviews on them or anything. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really digging this concept. It's my, like, a, like I said in the unboxing video, it's my first concept knife and um, so really, really impressed with the quality of it so far. And this is one of the lower end knives that I could find. I think the main street is, is less than this. And that's one I really have my eye on is that main street. I, I like the look of it. Um, and I'm rocking the uh, left hand carry x-pack version of the pocket platform and this actually is holding up pretty well to uh, everyday use i have to say i haven't i haven't give will any feedback on it in a little bit so if you watch the video here will um that's knife i king over on instagram if you watch this video your um uh, this x-pack version is holding up pretty well i have to say um, you know the lighter material i know that's always a concern but this one does, and I carry it daily. So yeah, it's 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 held up really well to use. Um, you know, I do have a little bit of advice for anybody that's using one of these. Um, when you go to set it up, what I found to be really helpful is uh, in here. Sometimes the bigger stuff, it's easier to put your smaller stuff in there first. I forgot about that. So one thing I don't like about putting this pry bar in here, it always wants to catch on that elastic. And I'm just really afraid it's going to end up ripping it. I usually try to put it in this way first and spin it around. Yeah, there we go. That in there. This. Should go in a little bit easier now with the other things in it. I think. Be wrong. Yeah, there you go. And then we'll put the D1 driver in here. And then what you can do is you lay these out. Put a little bend in this. 
You can do it either way. And then what it'll do is it'll leave you with just enough room. But these are just fastened down just like you want them to be. So, uh, yeah. Just a little tip there for you on the um, pocket platforms if you're a pocket platform user. Uh, comment down below if you actually are a uh, pocket platform user. I'd love to see if um, any of you guys are actually carrying one. It's uh, been a game changer for me, I have to say. I wasn't carrying any kind of pocket organizer before, and um, I'm totally sold on them now. So anyway, guys, uh, that's about all i got for you this week. Uh, you know, not a whole lot of changes, but uh, another week is in the books. I've got some really cool videos coming out. I'm backed up on videos. I've been having some um, problems with my editing process here. And uh, so, but I think I'm getting back on track and I've got uh, probably got several videos that are going to be coming out here. So uh, if you like the video, be sure and leave me a like down below. If you are not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button while you're down there. If you want to help support the channel, um, I can say that uh, we're not making any money off of this right now. I'm spending all my own money and then what uh, few affiliates or sponsors I've had uh, send stuff, but mostly it's all out of pocket. So you guys want to help, um, you know, if you want to help support the channel, our memberships are now open. They start as low as 99 cents. I made it as low as I possibly could. Just so if you guys just want to show a little love, you can. Um, they do go up from there. One of the things with the memberships I'm working on, trying to work out right now is a sticker. Uh, some stickers for everybody. So uh, if anybody has any suggestions, hit me up about that. Um, I'd love to get some suggestions and some feedback from you guys. Uh, you know, what you'd like to see as far as stickers and, uh, do you have some, we're going to be doing some more lives coming up. Um, I am in the process of putting together my 500 subscriber giveaway. I know I've said this before. I promise guys, I really am doing it now. I have everything in for it. I'm not waiting on anything. So I, I just need to put it together and do it. I'm going to try to do that as a live. I'll make sure and keep you guys posted on that. But anyway, uh, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this week's carry. Go over to Instagram and post your carry at hashtag TGIF pocket dump. And uh, I'd love to feature some of your carries on a future video. Um, for now, check this one out. And tell me what you think about this one. So this first carry is brought to us by none other than the Knife Eye King himself. He says he's carrying an MKM Isonzo M390 Micarta homemade wallet, the launch pad, Rovi Vaughn A3, Titan Talon Tool Spike, a lever gear card, paracord, keys, and a space pen. Good solid little carry there. This next carry is coming to us from New Burn Heavy Hitters on Instagram. Shout out to New Burn Heavy Hitters. He says he's carrying the Springfield XD9 Subcompact. He has a Mech Army X3S flashlights, a Civivi Mini Elementum, Dragon Player Fidget Coin, a Griffith Pocket Tool. Brass Zippo, uh, Citizens Eco Drive Watch, and I believe the slip in the wallet, he said, were both hide and drink. And uh, when I asked him about his carry, he said, I don't know, man, it just works for me. It's simple and clean. It's everything I need and nothing I don't. So there you go. Submit your carry to hashtag TGIF Pocket Dump, and you could be featured next. Guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me. I really do appreciate it. Thanks for watching all the way to the end of the video. It does mean a lot to me. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, you know, it's, thanks so much for uh, hanging out with me for another Friday evening here. Anyway, I hope everybody has a great weekend. Stay safe out there, but also have fun. Remember, both things are possible. And also remember what I always say. Always be caring. And remember, the best gear is the gear you have on you. Average Gear Reviewer, I'm out of here. Average Gear Review, but the best gear is the gear you have on.